Greetings and salutation, moon children. Today, I'm doing a tutorial on how to wash a synthetic wig or heat-resistant wig. What you're going to need is something to wash the wig in or a sink. You're going to need shampoo and you're going to need conditioner or you can just use the wig shampoo and conditioner. And don't forget your wig. This wig is just an old wig that I've had for a long time and I cut it. It used to be a lot longer. This is the wig I'm going to use. And don't forget to use your wig brush to brush your hair before you wash your wig. Because if you use a normal brush, it will just cause more damage. So step one is brushing out your wig to make sure there's no tangles. The next step is to add your water to the sink or to the thing you're going to be washing your wig in. And with a synthetic wig, you're going to be using cold water to warmish water. And with a heat resistant, you want to use a lukewarm to a warmer water. Don't wash a non-heat resistant wig in warm or hot water because it can damage the wig. Next, you're going to add the shampoo of your choice to the water. Like so. I add like two or three drops or four drops. And you're just going to do that to make it mix well. Next, you're going to place the wig into the water and you're just going to swish it around a little bit, not trying to comb it or anything like that. You do not want to comb the wig when it's wet. You're going to leave that in for five to ten minutes depending on how dirty the wig is. Now, when you want to clean the scalp, you're going to take some of the water and you're just going to go like that and you're just going to kind of rub it a little bit. A little more TLC up here than down at the bottom because this part is a little more thicker. You're going to take the wig out, kind of going like this, downward motion, and you're going to go and rinse it off. Once you have rinsed your wig, you're going to get a new thing of water or just drain your sink and fill it up again with some water. Then you pick a conditioner of your choice, and you're just going to do the same thing again as you did with the shampoo, and you're just going to put a few drops. But this, you might have to break it up since conditioner is kind of thick. It's best to do the conditioner part with warmer water than what you did with the shampoo if you're doing the cold water, because it's a lot harder to break up conditioner in cold water. Once you broke up the conditioner as much as you can, you're going to place the wig back into the water. You're just going to swish it around a little bit, and for best results, leave it in there 10 to 15 minutes. Once that's over, you're going to take the wig, and you're just going to wring it out from top to bottom. Get as much water as you can out of the wig. It will be easier to dry that way. And then you're going to just put it in a towel. And you're just going to get more of that excess water. If you have a heat resistant wig, you can blow dry it. That would definitely get it faster. But you can either hang it on a head. You can hang it outside. You can, you know, basically hang it anywhere to dry. This wig might be heat resistant, I'm pretty sure it is, if not, it doesn't really matter because I don't really use this wig anymore. I'm going to show you, I'm going to blow dry it. Just blow dry it like normal hair! I really don't feel like taking my wig off, so this is the end result. It will be a lot more dry because I didn't feel like taking the time to dry it all the way. Thank you for watching, I love you! Thank <laughs> you.